In typical fashion, I started my trip really late at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. With 60 miles to cover in a few hours, I had to push hard. About 50 miles in, and about, I don't know, 15 miles from my camp spot. And it's getting dark pretty quickly now, so. I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll see. Five kilometers to go. As you can see, I'm still struggling to switch from Imperial to metric system. Thanks, Wales. The traffic has been non stop. I think it's because it's a uh, bank holiday or whatever they call it here on Monday. Yeah, look at that. About half past eight, I arrived at my destination Lang Lang Beach. It was more populated than I realized, but thankfully I had found a spot previously on Google Maps. With minutes to spare before it got dark, I quickly set up my tent and went to bed. Good morning. It is really, really cold. It's 12 degrees. You don't think it's much until you try and sleep in it. Being my first night bikepacking, I didn't realize that taking the bags off the bike and then setting everything up back the way it was would take quite a bit of time. But I felt very grateful to have found this camping spot. After enjoying the view and having some breakfast, I was ready to go. So many flies, it's crazy. Oh. Oh. Heading to Phillip Island today. Let's do it. Hello. Just had a little coffee break, a bit of reading. And now, a uh, fi final stretch. Just minutes later, I had the first flat tire of the trip. Thankfully, I was able to fix it rather quickly. I also met Glyn on the way there. He was cycling to Phillip Island from Melbourne in one day. Absolute mad lad. <laughs> That's the guy that beeped at us last time for being dangerous. 6k from the town now. I'm in Phillip Island. Uh, say goodbye to Glyn. Yeah, the road's getting a bit, a bit narrow now. Loving it. Beautiful. After discovering a huge hole in my back tire, I had to change it as soon as possible. Shout out to Wayne at the Bicycle Repairman for being open on a Saturday afternoon. Oh, sorry, uh, I, I live in Brunswick. Yeah. So I do Uber Eats there. So not with that bike though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta record everything. <laughs> oh, have you a drink? Oh, why not? You just have uh, a yeah. It's always good, I think, when, you, when you've done that cycle of beer, must taste so much better. Yeah, everything is uh, more rewarding. Like, yeah. just camping and being in a tent. It's like, oh, away from the mosquitoes and the, bee and the uh, flies. Yes. <laughs> Afterwards, I went to Ocean Reach Brewing for a burger and a beer. There, I met Ramsey and his wife, who very kindly of the garden for me to camp in. If you're a vegan, close your eyes now.
With a full belly, I headed to Nobby Center at the west side of the island. Unfortunately, I lost the footage after Nobby's Island, but apart from a failed swimming attempt, you didn't miss much. Came to the the same camping spot, the exact same, because it's just so good, and it's kind of in a good position in between the city and uh, Philip Island. Check this out. to set up camp early, I decided to go for a walk to explore the nearby area. I'm glad I did because I found this. I just got into this abandoned, uh, well not used anyway, hut. I should have put my tent here, look at that. No. Hunt straight, and in the morning you sit here, have your coffee, and you look at the view. Look at that, all the way, and it's completely private. Next time, eh? I just finished packing my stuff back in my bike. That's the previous camping spot. There are so many flies, it is extremely annoying. Having escaped the flies, and with all my gear packed up, I sat down for breakfast and a cup of coffee. Very few things can be compared to the freedom you have when you bikepack. You have no schedule and you control how far you go. You carry all your food, all your gear. It is very responsible, but at the same time very liberating. This was my first bikepacking trip. I cycled from Melbourne to Phillip Island and back in three days. It was 213 miles or 342 kilometers in total. I had a great time and I'm going to do it again for sure.